Good evening, YouTube. Brew by me. Back again. Gonna be doing another review tonight. Yes, I am. Tonight I'm gonna be reviewing another beer from the Witchwood Brewery in England, UK. This is their Hobgoblin 5.2% ABV. Expires July the 12th, 2013. Um, 500 milliliter bottle. Uh, pretty cool label. Again, like I said, the labels are pretty cool with the little hop goblin goblet things. I'm using my JR Brickman glass. It's kind of cool shaped. So, let's open her up and uh, give her a taste. Oh, the cap on this one's different than the last two. The last two had the witch on there. This one actually has the uh, guy with the axe. So, the guy that's on the bottle. Hmm. They seem to be getting sweeter. Wow, this one's darker too. Okay, so I poured that a little aggressively, but that's okay. Um, so the color is like a dark. Um, dark copper, almost red in color, nice carbonation, uh, three fingers ahead, small and medium bubbles. The head is kind of like a, a reddy beige, like an off-white kind of tan. Anyways, looks good. Let's give her a smell. Some sweet malts. A slight bit of like a um, chocolate toffee kind of smell. Um, slightly bitter, like there's a slightly bitter smell there, like uh, again I'm going to say like a earthy, spicy, woody kind of hop. A slight bit, a little bit more of the dark red fruit in this one. Maybe like a dark red apple. Nice toffee though, the toffee's there and the chocolate is slightly there, but more of the toffee comes out. Anyways, it smells good, it looks good, it's getting to my spectrum of beer. So let's give her a taste, see what we think. Mm. All right definitely better than the last two from this brewery which would has the, the witches on there um, <clears throat> more malt in this one a little more um, there's a, little, a slightly bit more sweetness there to the beer um, nice bitterness uh, lights to medium bodied medium carbonation take a swig of it. <clears throat> First hit you get is the sweet malt prof the, the sweet malt tastes. Um, like your you can get the, the the toffee, the caramel, the slight bit of chocolate, and then it goes across your tongue nice and creamy. It hits the back of your tongue, or your back of your throat, sorry. You get that poof, a little bit of bitterness. and finishes dry. So you go on, next swig. Look at the lacing on there. This has a lot of lacing, this beer. More than the last two. Wow. Anyways, this one is... I like this one uh, uh, more than the other two I had from this brewery. Uh, this one is, is a, uh, a well-crafted beer. Um, it's not as meh as the other two. There's a little more kick to it, a little more flavor, a little more character to this beer. Um, it's still middle of the road though. It's nothing 
um, you know, spectacular. I've had um, other ruby beers um, that had a little more kick to it, a little more flavor. But uh, this one is, uh, it's holding, it, this one's holding its own. Um, it's a fairly well-rounded, well-crafted beer, Hobgoblin. Um, <clears throat> I'd recommend this one over the other two, but they're all, th the other two are okay. Um, anyways, um, malt profile, I'm going to have to say there's your two-row in there, some crystal caramel toffee malts in there, maybe a slight bit of chocolate malt in there, some fuggles, goldings, nuggets, those kind of hops. There's a slight bit of that dark fruit character, like a dark red apple, um, but it's very, very faint. Um, and that's about it. Uh, not much more I can tell you about the beer. I've described it in a nutshell. Um, you know, I told you what it looked like, I told you what it tasted like. There you have it. If you can find it, Hobgoblin, give it a whirl. It's worth a try. Um, <clears throat> You won't be wasting your money. It's, uh, like I said, a well-crafted beer. Um, anyways, please rate, comment, subscribe. Leave any suggestions or ideas in the comments box. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Bye.